What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and just a quick video today. We're going to be covering an Mbappe. Mbappe? Mbappe. The main man, 97 overall. Our version of him is going to be slightly different than this build that they have here with the auto allocation because we're going to focus on exactly what he's good at, which is direct runs, brilliant balance, and of course, that blister and pace. So when we get rid of the playstyle proficiency, when that update happens, um, I think a lot of players are going to see that just how important it is to have your players trained correctly, right? Now, one downside to Mbappe before we get into him, he does start off as an 88 overall, but on the actual card itself, there have been a lot of versions of Mbappe, right? So there was a different version of Mbappe before. Um, this card, this one that we have here is a national team selection from France, but there also was a different version of him that released as well, which is pretty identical to this, except a couple of key differences, right? This one has more levels. Um, this one that we'll see here in a second over on eFootball DB. Actually, I'll show you quite uh, quickly here. This one here, is 17 levels that one is a different type of card right so that was from the other pack that they released so he had better balance and he also had better type possession and better um free kicks and jump but everything else was pretty much identical with minus one on the finishing and defensive awareness so if you look at any build of mbappe you will notice that they have got fairly kind of mixed uh balance stat and that is as the game has kind of changed in development and how they've kind of patched things out um it is going to be difficult to kind of build mbappe because he is a run and gun player he is a one touch type player but he doesn't have one touch pass he does have double touch and chop and chip shot control with acrobatic finishing and first time shot but he's not as silky on the ball as he probably reads on this stat-wise, right? Comparing him to the likes of, I would say, uh, Son from Tottenham, Romario, uh, Lautaro Martinez, them type of players who just kind of glide around the pitch and run and gun, uh, you know, really effectively, right? So with Mbappe here, we are going to take a look. If you do spin for him, you will be able to spin and get him. If you are lucky, you've got three, three chances to get him out of 11 players. Um, but when we take a look at the build over here in eFootball DB, and we'll give you an alternative here as well in a second, this is how we've trained him, right? So the key stat here that you want to look for, because you can't get that balance over 88, okay, to get the boost, is offensive awareness, right? Now, depending on your skill level, you can actually get a boy with having this at 85, right? Um, if I was training Mbappe, um, you know, and I'm fairly comfortable finishing, like I, I probably finish 70% of my chances that I get that are finishable, uh, even if that's a, not a word, I'll use it. Um, but this build of him is all going to be about kind of running and gunning, right? So we do want to get that ball control and dribbling up as high as we can. But most importantly, we want to get that offensive awareness. So if you can get by with having five into shooting with 85 of a finishing stat, because you are going to have the rising shots, the chip shot control, the acrobatic finishing and the first time shot. And to be honest with you, lads, once you get a chance and you've played the game for a while it is just kind of point and, pa and uh, tap into the net you know unless you're going for really unique stunning shots which you can do with a lot of players because that's more handled by animations than stats right dribbling at seven this is again another one that we could take down just a fraction we do lose out on the ball control but we will have the dribbling at 90 so that's not a huge trade-off there we can still pop one more into dexterity now most importantly with that is it gives us an offensive awareness stat of 92 and it also gives us an 85 balance stat which when boosted up because he does have unwavering form that is going to mean that we have you know 87 um balance there right that we're going to have with the boost we're also going to have our acceleration nearly maxed out speed and stamina aren't going to be an issue um you could get by with just having 88 speed and it'll free up another two spots so you could pop that back into finishing depending on your skill level but i genuinely think if you are fairly good to average at the game 85 finishing is more than enough with these player skills and his player id right dribbling if you run and gun a lot you can pop that in if you want to there as well but i would probably just try and max out that balance stat and get it to 85 if you are looking for an alternative build um and you don't want to spin from with coins you want to stay free to play i mean sun is a fantastic option yes he's down as a prolific winger um which his playing style will mean that he hugs the touchline and stuff when that's activated but listen, when you have a player that has stats like this with the high acceleration, the high offensive awareness and the finishing, you can get by again, as I said, with one less into finishing there. And then also on top of that, you can get by with one less into dribbling and then pop that in there. And then you can have one more onto his speed. Uh, Sun is just a brilliant player. Now, his Asian stars pack is ridiculous. This version of Sun, if you do have him, you do not need Mbappe. Trust me on that. So that is it. A quick one for Mbappe. Five minute video with all the information that you need. Let me know if you're going to spin or skip. Don't forget to subscribe. Chat you in a bit.